This video is sponsored by Squarespace. We just checked out of our hotel in Bangkok. We are now headed to Dongmun International Airport because today we are flying to Hong Kong. And this trip has been on our radar for the last couple years because my family lives in Hong Kong and I haven't seen them in almost three years, basically since the pandemic started. But the rules have finally relaxed a little bit. There is no more hotel quarantine. So we will document our journey for the next couple days to show you what it's like to travel to Hong Kong right now. So we are at Dongmeng because we are flying with Air Asia to go to Hong Kong. Most flights I think depart out of Suwanapum for like Thai Airways and Hong Kong Airlines and all of that. But we are actually using points on Air Asia that <laughs> has been sitting in our account for over two years. Enjoy the freedom of not wearing masks here at the airport in Thailand. Because as soon as we hop on the plane, we'll be masked all the time. It's going to be a change because Hong Kong still has the mask mandate and you have to be wearing a mask in most places, social distancing, all of that. You'll see. <laughs> So yesterday night, we already had to do a little preparation for today's flight. First ATK test. Cheers! <laughs> <laughs> it's negative. So once we got that negative result, then we went on the Hong Kong Health Declaration website, put in our details, put in the negative results, and we generated this QR code that we are using today to check in and also for once we arrive in Hong Kong. The QR code has to be green. Yes, it has to be green and it's green. Sandika! See you in Hong Kong! So we're entering Hong Kong on the 0 plus 3 program which means that visitors are expected to self-monitor for symptoms over three days. And while you will be allowed to step out of your hotels and homes during this time, you'll be restricted from entering certain places like shopping malls and bars and restaurants, basically places that you will take off your mask. And this period will end at 9 a.m. on day three if you're totally clear, like if all your tests come back negative, then Day three is when you can go fully experience Hong Kong. So how many tests are we doing in total? You're not going to be impressed, but okay. we're going to be doing four PCR tests and seven? Seven? Tests. Okay. okay so but we, we, we get to do the rapid test ourselves, right? Yes, okay. the rapid test, you will just do that at home every day, uh, basically before you go out. But PCR tests, we have one that we're going to do at the airport and then on day two, day four, and day six, we need to go get those done at the community testing centers. And those are all included, like, I mean, the government is gonna pay for them, so they're free. Mm. Unless you go private, then I think you need to pay. Mm. It's not the easiest, but Hong Kong has one of the strictest policies for quarantine. It used to be 21 days in a hotel facility, mm -hmm. which is insane. and. 14 days and 7 days so now it's kind of a big deal that you don't need to quarantine It's a lot easier now compared to a couple months ago already Yeah. and the reason we're traveling to Hong Kong now because we want to be there in time for your mom's birthday Yeah, that's a big part like I mean if you can wait and you don't need to go to Hong Kong right now of course wait another couple months but it's important it's like mm -hmm. I really want to be there for my mom's birthday this is my nose before <laughs> and my nose after all the tests will be like this. <laughs> Just keep it like that, it'll be easier. Airport is now ready for boarding to gate number 21. Are you excited to see your mom? And my dad. <laughs> yeah, I do that. <laughs> and my sister and her husband and my nephew. Wir haben schon
the Vuong Tong Gong International Airport. The local time is now 20 minutes past 2. Alright, remember this beautiful face. <laughs> We are here in Hong Kong! So right now it's 2.36. Let's see how fast we can get through all the procedures to go out. I highly doubt that it's going to be very busy at the airport because our flight was not even half full. Straight ahead. Testing procedures. That's us. Yeah, there's like no one here. Look. <laughs> this should be pretty quick. Okay, that was, quick. That was really quick, like mm -hmm. less than five minutes. They basically just give us a lanyard. And also, we have to scan the green QR code that we had prepared, show them our identification, they gave us a specimen bag, and then we walked into a space where there was a person who would take the um, nose and your throat specimen, and you just hand it over to them. It was super quick. Okay, next step. We're going to immigration and baggage. Oh, okay. So we just have to wait for the train. Oh, I got this like adrenaline rush. I was shaking a little bit, like almost like a panic attack. I know you were nervous <laughs> about the PCR, mm -hmm. but it really wasn't, really wasn't bad. Mm -hmm. I actually think that the the people have been really polite. Uh, the lady for me was like, "Just calm down, stay calm." Really? Yeah. I wonder if it'll be different if there's like thousands of people. Yeah. <laughs> but so far, it's really smooth. Real quick. Recently, we noticed a lot of our friends are pursuing their passions, whether that is in making and selling ceramics or starting a food blog. And one thing we always suggest to them is to build a website. We personally use Squarespace for our website, and we love that it is an all-in-one platform, which means we can host, build, and manage our website all in one place. It is super easy to get started as they have plenty of award-winning templates for you to choose from. And don't worry, you don't need to learn how to code because their design tools are very simple to use. Just head over to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash flora and note to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Now let's get back to the video. So this is where we have to say goodbye for a little bit. I'm gonna go to my Hong Kong ID side and you can go to the foreign password side. See you on the flip side. See you on the flip side. I just passed through immigration and it is only 2.53 so it's only been 17 minutes and I already went through everything. Now I have to see if our bags are here yet. Gotta wait for note. What just happened? Yeah, what happened to you? Well, they waved me into another section, and I was the only one chosen to do a spot check. <laughs> and then they call your mom, and they call you. What happened? What did they say to you? Oh, they just said it was a random check. <laughs> like, there's nothing specific they were checking. They just said, oh, sometimes they pick random checks. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because she asked me to show a photo of us together oh. and she asked to she asked about how long we have been married and what am i doing here and when i'm going back show my return ticket and stuff they were writing down a bunch of stuff oh yeah yeah and i told them we have a youtube channel <laughs> so subscribe <laughs> never missed that opportunity yeah so we might have four extra mm. immigration officer subscribers they also give me this yeah i also got this one too so i think it's just says within um, 14 days we have to register this well I think right away we have to register it because it says download your notification of medical surveillance so scan to download the app I guess yeah uh, I think we can do that on the train okay well we're through <laughs> <laughs> this airport is quite empty it is. sorry my parents aren't here to uh, welcome us <laughs> They're at home because mom is busy cooking for you. Oh, I can't wait. Home cooked meal. 
your mom makes the best food. Now that we're in Hong Kong, Floor is doing everything. Getting the SIM card, getting money, figured out how to get home. It's kind of nice. Because <laughs> that's what I was doing in Thailand. I got it! <laughs> These are $198 each. 30 baht. 30 yeah, 30 US baht it's not the cheapest one, but it is the only one that they have here. But it's not bad. You have uh, 30, 365 days to use 18 gigabytes. <laughs> 18 gigabytes? That's so low. Yeah. We get unlimited data in Thailand and we paid same price, 30 bucks. That's okay, I expect Hong Kong to be a lot more expensive. So I am quite familiar with the Hong Kong International Airport because I used to work here 10 years ago. So I was a flight attendant for Cathay Pacific. So I would basically be at this airport every couple of days. And I used to take the train a lot here too. We're gonna take this one here, which is going to take us around. 20 minutes, 24 minutes to get out to the city. Here's yours. So it is 105 Hong Kong dollars for one way to Kowloon. Something to drink, so I don't know what they are. Come on! Oh yeah! You cannot come to Hong Kong and not drink this lemon tea. A taste of Hong Kong. Tastes like my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> so the taxi stop is just right there. One more ride and we'll be home. in Hong Kong because it's so roomy <laughs> and you don't have to bargain it's a meter are you feeling big honestly it feels a little unreal we haven't been here for so long for years and we used to come frequently and just driving around these roads that are so familiar to me and knowing that I'll be home in like five minutes mm -hmm. Get to see my parents, get to hug them. It's it's a pretty like unreal feeling. Three right here. What's that? My dad. Oh my god, my dad. <laughs> 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 Good to see you. Uh, Mommy waiting upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> you ready to go inside? Yes. Come have coffee. Mom prepared for you. Come sweet home. <laughs> Come sweet home. Mm -hmm. Best coffee ever. <laughs> so four years. So no, two, two years. years. This is two, two years. Two years worth of lycee. Yeah, yeah. Because um, one for me, one for mom. Oh, okay. Okay, and this is your two years Thank lycee. You. Thank you. I love coming home. <laughs> I can open that? Yeah, you know. Okay, I'll just open it's, one for it's now. It's usually kind of rude though to open it really? in front of the person who gave it to you. Uh, so I just go inside. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh. What? How is that fair? That's not fair. How come I got a hundred and you got five? I'm the daughter. Five oh. is the birthday. <laughs> oh. Five is the birthday. <laughs> This is so nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Mama. So a few days have passed since we arrived in Hong Kong. Let me update you on what it's been like since we got here. The first few days, we aren't allowed to dine in at any of the restaurants because we are under something called the medical surveillance. So what that basically means is we have to test negative four times during the first three days in order to get our dine-in privilege. But it hasn't been too bad because we've been enjoying a lot of home-cooked meals. We've also been able to buy some of our favorite foods to take home to eat. But today is finally day four and all our tests came back negative so we are finally allowed to dine-in and fully experience all the delicious food Hong Kong has to offer.
We hope this video has been helpful and please stay tuned for some of our upcoming videos to see what Hong Kong is like now. Thank you so much for watching and as always have a wonderful day. We will see you in the next one. Bye!